discuss the Nigerian Senate today, shall we? I once said on live TV how I didn't know what the senator representing my constituency was doing in the Senate. He said it's called to tell me he's empowering constituents with grinding machines and motorcycles. Am I a joke to you? Are senators in the Senate to empower their party loyalists and friends? Who is the Nigerian Senate representing? When the 8th Assembly, led by Dr. Bukola Saraki, questioned and investigated issues, supporters of the Buhari government labeled him anti-government. The 9th Assembly promptly told us they would align and accede quickly to requests from the presidency. The government supporters hailed the Senate's president. Who then is to check the excesses of the presidency? What exactly is the role of the Senate in a democracy? Who is the Nigerian Senate representing? Definitely not me. But let's take all that and say that they represent their own supporters. Is it to Nigeria's advantage that her Senate is a rubber stamp? You criticize the service chiefs for insecurity in the country every day. They are removed. And then you are seated to them being made non-career ambassadors. Is Nigeria a joke to you? Nigeria's former ambassador to the U.S., Professor Silvanus Nsofo, was 85 years old. He could hardly walk, talk less of being actively involved in seeing to the plight of Nigerians in the U.S. He couldn't even recite the Nigerian anthem when he was interviewed by the Bukala Saraki-led Senate. He was rejected. President Buhari sent his name again. Professor Silvanus Nsofo was the only appeal court judge who agreed that President Buhari had a case in his 2003 election petition. So it seemed President Buhari was hell-bent on rewarding him, even though he was long retired and really too old for active service when he was made Nigeria's ambassador to the U.S. in November 2017 at age 82. Indeed, he passed on in December 2020 at the age of 85. His counterpart in the UK, George Okuntade, also celebrated his 8th birthday while representing Nigeria in the UK. Yet, the Nigerian Senate doesn't see anything wrong with these representations as far as it's from their leader. I am flabbergasted. Now, we are approving former service chiefs to do what exactly? Have military diplomatic discussions on our behalf? Diplomacy is not a child's play. Countries around the world take it seriously. An ambassador is received in their assigned country like they are the president of the delegating country. Even though there are good reasons for appointing non-career diplomats around the world, Nigeria seems to just settle the president's supporters with these important appointments. And the Nigerian Senate just rubber stamps it. Imagine. We now reward failure. Service chiefs who totally failed at their one assignment of securing the country. Service chiefs under whom every section of Nigeria became more insecure. You want to settle them for staying loyal to the president and not Nigeria? It's Nigeria's President Buhari's private business where he does as he wishes at the time convenient for him. And our National Assembly just looks on. Who is the Nigerian Senate representing? When will Nigeria stop being embarrassed by this government? I just tire. Is the Nigerian rep Senate representing you? Is the Nigerian Senate representing you? Please explain this to me. Yes, they are representing you. <laughs> I'm explaining to you now. They are representing you because you voted for them during the election. Or you chose not to or you choose not to, or you look at the other fringe parties and you say, I don't want it's to waste us. my vote. Mm. Exactly. I don't want to waste my vote. So let were, me... they, were they really voted for that? They were so not they voted, were voted for. They were voted for. I, I, I know that statutorily they, they were voted for. Them. Yeah, yeah. Statutorily, because they are, they even are if represent... they rigged uh, more, yeah. Stat... but they were voted for. Statutorily, they are representing us, statutorily. But in reality, in terms of value and reward, and then competence and capacity to deliver. They are not representing. When the man asked for vote, their, what did he tell he was going not, to do? They are not representing their, their constituency. Otherwise, otherwise, you will not find them confirming 
uh, are about to confirm the, the I mean, the, the set of uh, services. Oh, they've been confirmed, they've been confirmed already. already. already rather, mm -hmm. they've yes. been confirmed they've already. Been confirmed okay, already. and then you know that this, this same National Assembly at the outset of their administration told us that they did not come there to fight the president. Yes, sir. that I whatever the president to brings that. to them, they are going to do it. And Nigerians kept quiet, and that was when we were no, supposed no, to mobilize. No, no, no. Let's let to recall let's, them. Let's paint the right picture. Recall not is this a long national, story. The leadership of the National Assembly. Yeah, the leadership. That's what I'm saying. The uh, leader, the principal the members. I, I, well, what's I think, the difference? I think, I think, I think no, there is, there is a, a, a whole there lot. There are some dissenting voices, but there are just few. There are dissenting voices. But there are just few. Dissenting voices will have Number one, there are very few. Then in, in, in the crop of those people, I, mean, I saw a video by Cosmos Maduka just this morning talking about um, uh, an incident, the most regrettable business incident. Even though he didn't call names. Even though he didn't call names, we all know the person. And that person is sitting in that, in that uh, yes, studio as, 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 as your as lawmaker. And yeah. you also have retired governors mm. who have made the place a retirement home yes, mm. where, 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 where they're sitting. Mm. So, honestly, the quality, I think our expectation is too high for the quality of what is possible from that kind of an The answer. thing is, we've that's, never that's had reality. it this terrible in terms ah, of ah. governance. Let, let the eyes have it. It is the same Senate that will rubber stamp a bower. For, EF, uh, for EFCC, her head of EFCC. I think Bawa even had a discussion. Bawa, I am not the saying he does chief not have a did discussion. Not have but you see, in the civil service, you just jumped ahead of other You want to tell me that you didn't invest in other people but a level 13 uh, officer? Um, really? Um, I worked in the civil service for Ashake. years. Ashake. That the former EFCC was denied three times by the Bukola Saraki Ashake. Senate. And yeah, President Buhari <laughs> President Buhari kept on sending his name. Meanwhile, Bukola Saraki wait. also passed the Unsofor that you're talking about. Yes. Uh -huh. He had rejected so what's the difference? Unsofor. Listen, wait. he had rejected Unsofor twice. Right. The president kept on resending his name. The first time Unsofor could not even it has sing the national anthem. The second wait. time, they asked him for a pledge. He said, uh -uh, what's his business with that. It's for young children. See, um, wait, let's let's tell ourselves the truth. Truly, the national anthem is not his business. As at his time, the national anthem was not... Um, but really, well, I'm saying this sarcastically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying this sarcastically. The outside. If the man, no, if the really, man, if the man were competent, mm. what if he recite the national anthem and he knows and next he to That's nothing. the point I'm going to make. What if he recites the national anthem? I can better, learn it. But at least he should know it. it and then I'm way, not competent. I mean, what it's is the same a foreign same. policy trust. What I am saying Because that exactly, is what drives... That's need to go to. That's the point. It's not about... It's not about... Let me tell you, the problem here... Reciting the anthem. The problem here... The problem here really is the fact that the government, a government came on board on the on the crest of promises mm -hmm. to do it differently. Yes. And then the government came, rather than challenge them from day one to consistently do these things differently, we started creating excuses for their failure. On their behalf. And the, the President Buhari will um, fail to appoint ministers. He says they are noisemakers. Six maker. months. We will say, after all, when Gulag Jonathan appointed them, uh, what did they do? When he appointed Ellie, what did they do? We kept benchmarking Buhari with failure of Jonathan yeah. as if Jonathan was so good that you need to match his <laughs> failure. Mm -hmm. So, but we didn't know that when all of this were happening, what we were gradually doing was preparing a big pot of recipe for failure. For disaster. For disaster. And so today, it has snowballed in your face. And so all the Senate is just simply doing is enjoying the ride with the president. Because it doesn't because make sense, we, we, we uh, liberals, that question. it doesn't are they make sense thing? for the you Senate to we criticize to the same service chiefs perpetually, repeatedly, and then they leave, and then they had the guts to tell the Senate and Nigerians that our security issue can't even be solved in the next, in the next 20, 20 years. years. Even the, that we have even a problem the, with intelligence. Even the petitions the against intelligence was them, compromised. The I opened my mouth and I went like, Really? Even the petitions against them were, were, not, were not discussed. And, 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 and I think that is that where is the part, main problem No, that is part of you, the excuse it's we made excuse. for Buhari. You brought Slawa. They say, yes, you need a Senate that can work with him. It is us. The day we want a better Nigeria, we will there will be up. a better Nigeria. Very not true. the leaders. Mm. We can never have enough time here on the program, but we hope our conversations resonate with you. Don't forget, the advocacy continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, 
the hashtag is the advocate ng or on twitter and instagram at plus tv africa same hashtag the advocate ng to catch up with previous broadcasts please go to plus tv africa.com forward slash the advocate ng don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel plus tv africa please join us next week same time on the station let's keep advocating for a better nigeria we we'll see you next time Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed. It's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.